To configure a SQL instance for use with Screwdrivers Pro, first open the SQL Configuration Manager. Once open, go to the SQL Server Network Configuration tab and click on Protocols for SQL. In this case, I'm using SQL Express. The name of your instance might be different. Once here, Screwdrivers Pro does require TCP IP and name pipes to be enabled. So let's go ahead and do that. To enable TCP IP, we right click and hit click enable and do the same for name pipes. Please note if your organization does not allow for dynamic SQL port configuration, there's a couple of other steps required. Please refer to our documentation for more detail. Once we have name pipes and DCP enabled, we click on SQL Server Services and we can restart our SQL Server Service. Please note if there are other applications using uh, this SQL instance, it is best to do this restart after hours. Now that the service has started, our connection to Screwdrivers Pro should be good to go and we can get us started with our database installer. Please refer to our install guides for further details.